Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. If you want to install a sandbox solution, especially the ones from me, of course, or any other sandbox solutions, then you need to have the solutions gallery. That is available in a classic site in SharePoint Online and SharePoint On-Premise, of course. But if you have a modern site, then you don't have that web designer gallery. So what you need to do then is to enable something called custom scripting on your site. You need to be the SharePoint admin to do this. Uh, here is an article about how to enable or prevent custom scripts. So we need to do that with PowerShell. And when you're running PowerShell, first of all, you need to use this tool, PowerShell IC. You probably want to run that as an administrator. And here is some document on how to get started. And that's that document I have here. And that shows you how to install the module. If you've never worked with PowerShell before, you probably want to set the execution policy first so that you're actually allowed to run script on your computer. That only needs to be done once. Then you need to install this SharePoint module and I run this one line of code by just selecting it and running the selection. And now that's installing and I've already done that so that should be really quick. Now the next step is to get my credentials and I'm going to put my credentials in a variable prints equals get credential. And I run that and then I input my username and password and then I press enter. And if I now I've just stored that information. Now I need to connect to the SPO service. And it's important now that I get the URL to the SharePoint Admin Center. So this is the URL that I'm uh, going to be working with when I connect. Of course, I want to change the enable custom scripting on another site, but first I need to connect. So we'll paste that in there. And now I'm just going to connect and I'm going to supply the credentials parameter and my creds that I already have in the variable. Now I run that and it shouldn't say anything. That means that everything went well. And then I'm connected. There we go. Everything went well. So now we just need to run this single line of code here, set SPO site. And there, of course, we need to use the right URL to the site that I actually want to run my script on. And the site URL is this one. That's where I'm missing it. So I'm just going to copy the link there and paste it in here. There we go. Now I run that. And now if I refresh this page, I should get the solutions. Thank you for watching this demonstration.